Hi and welcome back to our channel. In this video I'm going to show you five of my favorite dishes from Franconia. So stay tuned if you want to know what to eat on your trip to Nuremberg. This video is a part of the series about traditional German food in which we pick traditional dishes uh, from the most visited and the biggest cities in Germany. If you don't know me yet, my name is Marta from Cooking the World and I am a food guide in Germany. Apart from food guiding, I am a passionate traveler and also a food writer. If you are interested in the German cuisine and the traditional food in general, please subscribe to our channel. Franconia is another region where I would go only for food. Thankfully, it is also very beautiful. So you can go eat, do some sightseeing and you're gonna love it. As you probably know from my other videos, German cuisine is very regional. Franconia is actually part of uh, Bavaria because Franconia is located in the northern part of Bavaria but it does have a different language and uh, obviously cuisine. And they do definitely have delicious stuff, so without further ado, let's start. I'm gonna start this video with the most famous dish from Franconia and actually Nürnberg, uh, which is called Nürnberger Bratwurst, so the sausages from Nürnberg. Nürnberger Bratwurst is very famous in the whole Germany because it's so good. It does have protective geographical status, so it cannot be made outside of Nürnberg. Nürnberger Bratwurst is a cooked uh, pork sausage and has a very fine uh, meat structure, around uh, 3 mm. The sausage is pretty tiny because its weight is uh, from 20 to 25 gram. It's got a diameter of 50 mm and the length of 7 to 9 cm. The main spices of this bratwurst are salt and marjoram. Usually it is served in the white uh, bread roll, uh, which is called Dreinen uh, Wegler, or in the restaurants they also serve it with a sauerkraut. As we uh, went to Nürnberg last year for the Christmas market, we bought our Nürnberger bratwurst uh, in a shop that is called Schlüter's Echte, and I can truly recommend that one. Unfortunately, it's not in the city center, but as far as I've seen on the map, um, there is also a tube station uh, near that place. You can not only buy uh, the whole bunch of the sausages to take home, but also have a lunch there. And the place was seriously very busy, so I am pretty sure that therefore it is the right location to try the Nürnberger Bratwurst. The next dish I would like to mention in this video are Blaue Zipfel or Saure Bratwurst, and this is a Franconia speciality. So the first time I had it, it was in Würzburg, and I'm gonna insert the clip um, of that video uh, just right now on the screen. Those are sausages that are cooked in the vinegar broth with some vegetables, juniper, bay leaf, sugar and onions. I think that the broth was very balanced, so it wasn't too sour and not sweet, so that was actually very good to eat and to try. But it seriously still is a very weird thing to eat. The next thing from Franken that you should try on your trip to Nuremberg is Frankische Karpfen. This is another dish that's got a protected geographical status. It is a fried carp, that is served with a cooked potatoes or potato salad. This dish is served from September until April. They say that it is served in the months that have R letter in the name. And this is because of the um, hygiene rule um, from the past. Obviously, the transport of the fishes was definitely more hygienic in the winter month as in the summer months. Today, it's actually not a problem anymore, but this dish still remains seasonal. And I think that this is a very beautiful tradition that they keep. And the next dish that is worth mentioning is obviously Fränkisches Schäufele. Fränkisches Schäufele is obviously a Franconian speciality um, and it is a pork shoulder. Pork shoulder it's not only prepared in Franconia but also in other regions. But the method of the preparation in Franconia is very particular because they um, use the raw pork shoulder that is now baked in the oven with bone and rind. For the seasoning they use salt, pepper and caraway seeds and it's often prepared with uh, soup vegetables, uh, dark beer, onions and broth. When the pork shoulder is ready the meat is very soft and tender inside and the rind is very crispy. And the last speciality that I would like to mention is the Nürnberger Lebkuchen and here I would like to mention my favorite which is Elisenlebkuchen. Nürnberger Lebkuchen 
have also a protected geographical status. And when we went there for the Christmas market in 2018, there were plenty of vendors uh, that offered this speciality, but most of them were actually pretty dry. So I wouldn't really recommend it to buy them on the Christmas market because you're not going to get the best of the best. So Elisen Lebkuchen has a um, very high quality composition as uh, it needs to have 25% of nuts and that's either almonds, hazelnuts or walnuts. It also um, has maximum of 10% of flour or 7.5% starch. On the top they usually have a different things. Uh, the basic one is the normal sugar frosting but they also can have a dark chocolate or a milk chocolate. And usually they also decorate it with almonds. The spices that the Nürnberg uh, used uh, for the dough are anise, maize blossom, cloves, coriander, orange chest and cinnamon. And obviously every bakery has its own recipe. Elisenlebkuchen that we have eaten in Nürnberg in December 2018 where the Elisen Lebkuchen um, from the bakery called Döll. This bakery is also not located in the city center, but it was definitely worth uh, going there and trying the different variations. And I need to tell you that they did taste a lot better than those ones that we've tried the day before uh, on the Christmas market. So that will be it for this video. I hope that you did enjoy it. Uh, down below, I'm gonna put the list of all the specialities that I have mentioned in this video, as well as the places where we had those. Last week, we have prepared a video about uh, traditional dishes from Stuttgart. So if you haven't done so already to watch this, please go ahead and do so. The next video will be about specialities from Munich. I wish you all happy week, stay out of troubles, and I see you on the next one. Bye!